Hey everyone, this is Christian, and today I'm going to do another review on a Lego Bionicle. And I was going to get this on the day that we went to Southampton, and it is Skull Warrior. Hold on. There we go. Now, I I know I couldn't get him in Southampton, but I've got him now. I already know there's still some other people who reviewed him. So, let's still review him. So, first of all, he's got the mask of Skull Grinder, but just in a dark grey version. He's got, like, some armour and some awesome pieces. I really like... He's my second favourite Bionicle, actually. If you want to know. And he comes with this ice weapon... Which is like a remix of, well, just, it looks like Protector of Jungle's weapon, it does. It does, and I still love it. And he shoots out some of these studs, so I'll give you a demonstration. But don't worry, they give you extras, so let me just stick them back in. bit hard there you go and he has a gear function like that like I knew something like this and he's got some like orange claws on his feet and got some more armor make him look like a frozen skeleton for many years and he's also got this nice weapon staff on him. And let me show you something. So let me just take him for a sec. So what you do is, I won't show you, is that you remove his weapon and take the staff out like this. And you take his weapon... And take this piece out from here, and where the this where it connected to the staff, you place it like that. And I think Lego Bionicles have done a well good job. And what would you do with this? You think you just stick it up like a really long staff? Well, no. So, first of all, I know it's a bit dark. You remove the stick, for starters. There's an extra piece, like this. And you're going to need this red piece, so let me get it out. So, yeah. Connect that. You just leave that out with this. And then, you mostly connect on this arm. And there, you are holding his staff. So let me just take you to somewhere bright. And the reason why his gear is actually very long is for... So the weapon doesn't, like, stop it. So you, like, like... So like this. Sorry, I, I haven't got a speech. So you, like, you're chopping something like meat. <laughs> Skull meat, anyone? Skull meat, anyone? Anyone for skull meat? <laughs> oh, and one more thing. He comes with the mask of ice called Parker's Mask. And this is absolutely the same as the original one. So let me bring Parker's Mask with the other. This mask. And I don't know how they turn it into this. Let's bring them both in. But I like this one better. I like the, like, it's turning clear, like, like it's turning into glass. Like, like oh no, don't have me into glass. Oh, I, oh, I'm a little bit of glass. But yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. You can stick it on Skull Warrior, so let's remove that. Take that. Yeah, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. That looks pretty good. 
so you're just wondering like where should i put him in my shelf so let me just uh, okay i use that what oh yeah i've got like the mentions now forgot to make a video okay all right it is dark here we are here we are okay hold on oh i know oh sorry okay hold on let me find a torch if i got one so let me just go down and if you can't see it it's right up there i know i'm not supposed to do this but there you go see him right there so that's how I'm gonna leave him. And Skull Slicer is gonna be there. I reckon I'll put Skull Scorpion on top of Lord of Skull Spiders. So there you go, guys. That was the Lego review on Skull Warrior. And I hope you enjoyed it. And leave a comment to see what any videos I could do with Skull Warrior. And I'll see you next time i got a new haircut bye